So many people, especially women, spend their lives in a vicious cycle of yo-yo dieting. Author Janine Roth was among them, gaining and losing more than 1,000 pounds since adolescence. 1,000 pounds. Her new book, Women, Food, and God, explains how she stopped dieting and finally fixed her relationship with food. Good to have you with us this morning. Thanks, Erica. This book has made a huge impact because you know when Oprah Winfrey comes out and says, I read this book and it changed my relationship with food forever, that clearly there's something there. You've talked to Oprah about it. What is it here that made Oprah and so many other women say, aha, you've figured it out? Well, number one, it was the, the sort of coming to that diets don't work. I think we all know that because we've lost and gained 10, 20, right. 30 pounds about 900 times in our lives. Or more. <laughs> yes, or more. But the thing is when that you, you lose the weight, you don't lose the beliefs that drive you to food. Mm -hmm. So this book is about getting to those beliefs, understanding them, Understanding the root of why you're eating. And that is, you say you can you can tell so much about a person's relationship with food just by what's on their plate and what they're eating, that it's really sort of a glimpse into their own spiritual beliefs and their core. And you have God in the title of the book. So when you put those two things together, I mean, is this is this something that's based in religion to, to finally fix this relationship? No, it's not based in religion. You know, I've had a lot of people say to me, men in particular, when I tell them the title of the book, Women, Food, and God, they say, oh, my three favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> but the part that, that's in the title, the God part, has to do with the longing that we all have to connect with something beyond the world of appearances. And so many of us have given up on ourselves, and the way we express that hopelessness or despair is in the food we eat. Because there's that immediate satisfaction that comes from it. This chocolate tastes great, chocolate re releases the same endorphins as a hug I learned years ago, so it makes you feel a little bit better until you don't feel better when you look in the mirror. That's right. But, but I mean, this all makes sense, but, but like you said, it's what we've heard before. We've heard that dieting doesn't work. It's, it's you know, changing your mindset. But what specifically is different? What do I have to do now to break that bond that food might have over me? Two things. One is stop dieting and depriving yourself because when you shame and deprive and torture yourself, you end up a shame, deprived, and tortured human being who might be thin for 10 minutes, as we all know. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Stop dieting. Listen to your body. Really listen to your body, not your mind, your, what your body wants to eat, when it wants to eat it, and what feels good in your body. And the third thing is to actually use your relationship with food as a doorway. I think women want their lives back. We've given up our lives pretty much to this obsession with food, and there's despair and hopelessness there. We want our lives back. So to understand that what you put on your plate, how, when, and what you eat is a reflection of your beliefs, and to begin being curious about what's driving you to food, because if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, you'll never get to the root of it. And you'll never and you'll never move past the food to get to the other good stuff that could be waiting for you out there. The joy, the possibility, the, the happiness, all of that is available. And it, it all sounds good. It sounds, you know, this is a very <laughs> feel good. It sounds like I can do it. But for a lot of people, it's a very difficult thing to do. And, and it's not something that happens overnight. So Give us an idea. What's the kind of timeline we're talking about? Because as, as Americans, we want instant results. Okay. So one thing is that I, I really tell people is, I know this sounds like it's not the easiest thing to do, but the way you're already living is not the easiest way to live. People are suffering already. So what I'm suggesting is that you take some time. If you want a really quick fix and you want to lose 10 pounds right now, then you'll lose 10 pounds right now, and you'll come to me in two months having gained back those 10 pounds plus, plus more. <laughs> so I'm saying, do you want to deal with this once and for all? Or do you want to keep doing the same thing again for the rest of your okay, life? So you're saying it's a slow process, but once you start, you can continue on. Janina Roth, great to have you with us this morning. Wish you continued success. It's clearly already doing uh, pretty well. The book, again, is Woman, Food, and God. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.